Welcome to Ascent. My name's Martin Fordham and you may have recently seen my video unpacking the Ascent Magnetic Stirring Hot Plate Kit. If you haven't and you'd like to find out what comes in our package, please click the link above and you can find out there. But today I'd like to tell you about the one of the key safety aspects of the Ascent Stirring Hot Plate Package and that is three totally independent heating control circuits they were adding well basically three levels of safety so most people are familiar the first temperature control on most hot plates is a simple knob or control down here this is fine and that will control the temperature safely however just in the chance that that could go short circuit or something. Um, our hot plate stirrers also come with this small plastic screwdriver. In the side here, there is an adjustment screw. This is actually a hidden, and a lot of our customers don't know about this, so if you didn't realize it was there, do take a look. And it sets another limit. You can't set this knob temperature above this limit so it's quite good for teaching labs if you want to set a maximum temperature to stop students from uh, setting fire to the fume hood then uh, this is done here but it also because it's an independent circuit independent of this circuit if the off chance this circuit was to become defective this will take over and prevent that high over temperature so when you buy this hot plate stirrer package, in it comes a digital temperature controller to give that half degree accuracy. But of course, this is another temperature circuit. So we're looking at the knob on the front, the screwdriver one on the side, two separate circuits, and three independent circuits. So to plug this in, you turn off the hot plate. There's a small cap in the back. You remove that plug in the temperature probe and you can turn back on. So now you have three lines of safety temperature protection. With this attached we still turn the heating on by pressing here and we can set an absolute maximum temperature here and then we can set the temperature probe with up and down arrow keys here. Its default is minus 10 degrees when you turn it on so it's not going to go into immediate heating. That can then sit in your dry sim block or whatever else you want to control the temperature of and you'll get half degree accuracy and the knowledge that if this was to fail this is going to protect you if that's to fail this is going to protect you the three levels of temperature safety control so a hot plate stirrer you can run overnight quite safely any questions send us an email to inquiries at ascent.com there's a link below to the hot plate stirrer package and what i'd like to say is thanks for watching please subscribe and we'll see you very soon bye bye